Hi guys, uh, this tutorial is about uh, the background eraser tool. I'm going to explain to you how to erase the background and keep the portions only only the portions you want. So this is a picture I'm going to use for the tutorial, and uh, this is the background eraser tool. So just go ahead and click on it, and now uh, you need to select the brush size whatever the comfortable size for you so I guess this is good for me okay so what I do is just click on this way and just slide it you see the difference now it's going to erase the, the background and keep the thing uh, whatever you want in the in the foreground so and make sure that you don't uh, select the brush size too much and uh, so for this thing as I'm going to uh, I mean uh, the thing I want here to be in the foreground is this uh, the white portion uh, uh, below the line so so I chose the size appropriately so this is the appropriate size for that uh, so let's see what happens if you get a bigger size that's control Z and say 105 so it's happening here you don't see much difference but uh, where in cases like you have different colors say um, I mean uh, if, if the color here is also blue then the erasing will not be that efficient so in this case we have got the two two different colors with it black in between so this is working so that's the reason i suggest you to use uh, appropriate brush size so let's say i want uh, around uh, even this this should be fine so let's go ahead and do it you see that that's how simple it is and now if you observe uh, you'll notice that let's go ahead and zoom it okay you see you'll notice that uh, there are quite few fewer blue pixels left over here and that's because uh, uh, your tolerance is grayed out here so in that case what you can do is you can go ahead and adjust the sharpness and the hardness is already 100 the density is 100 so you can go ahead and uh, increase the step size a bit more and then do it so you see that that's the beauty of the background eraser tool it takes care of even the tiniest things you want to keep them uh, you want to keep in the foreground okay so just do it this way for all the picture I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then um, I do the same thing for all the my picture okay now so now this is the part which I want to keep I don't want this blue thing and I don't want this title either so in order to get rid of all the front portion above I'm going to use the freehand selection tool and uh, make sure that Make sure that you get uh, the free hand over here and just select the portion you want to keep. So 
so so this is a portion I want to keep. Okay, like this. Okay, that's how it's it got selected, and now go into selections. Invert. So when I click invert, it would select the the, the other portion here. So you're basically inverting the selection what you have done. And now go ahead and delete and press the delete button on your keyboard that deletes the pic. That deletes the blue portion now. And now to see the final effect, you need to press. Uh, Control D to get rid of those selections. So now I've got the only the thing I want, which means the foreground picture. So this is how you. Uh, this is how the background uh, tool works. The background eraser tool. That's all the tutorial. Thank you.